In this video, we'll look at our End User Report Designer for WinForms. It provides a user-friendly interface with multiple tools that enable your end users to quickly create and customize complex data-aware reports. I'll start with a WinForms application that has a data-aware report. First, let's reference the extra-reports.extensions library. In order to open the designer with a report, use methods in the Report Design Tool class. This class provides methods for invoking an end user report designer form with either the standard or ribbon toolbar. Each of these methods has overloads to open the report designer form with either the default look and feel or by customizing one. If you have our reporting suite, you'll be able to use these methods, but you'll need our WinForms subscription to customize the default designer. Let's take a look at how to do that. To add an end user report designer to a WinForms application, open the toolbox and drop the standard report designer or ribbon report designer component onto the form. A number of components are added automatically. The XR Design MDI controller provides the main functionality to the report designer and it contains multiple design panels, which allows end users to open multiple reports at once. To open a report in the end user report designer, use the open report method of the XR Design MDI controller. And let's take a quick look at runtime. Now let's see how to customize the report designer. First, we'll look at appearance customization. Drop the default look and feel component and specify a skin name. To apply the same appearance to the form containing the report designer, inherit this form from the extra form class and call the static enable form skins method of the skin manager class at the application startup. And let's run the app to take a look. By default, the report designer displays vector icons, which means it will always look sharp, even on high DPI displays. To make your WinForms application use bitmap icons everywhere in the application GUI, set the static Allow Default SVG Images property of the Windows Forms Settings class to false. And let's run it again. All right, now let's look at how to customize the UI. I'll create a new group and add a button to the ribbon. Click this button to add a page group. Then, in its smart tag, I'll set the text to help. If I click here, I can add certain items to the group. I'll add a button. Then select the button and change its caption to About in the property section. Then create an item click event for it and add the following code to handle it. and I'll run the application again. You can see our message window pop up when I click the About button. Remember, you can always translate your application resources to different languages using our localization service online at localization.devexpress.com. And that's it for this video. To learn more about the report designer like customizing doc panels and wizards, please check out the documentation on our website. You can also watch more videos on our playlist or subscribe to get all of our latest content. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.